Let's say your kid drops out of college to build the next great app. He'd probably be proud. Now, let's say he drops out to go haul people's garbage. He'd probably faint. After all, who in their right mind would trade a guaranteed white collar for the blue variety? It's good. Well, one man did just that, and today, he makes a living to rival any tech mogul. Meet Brian Scudamore. Hi, we're from 1-800-GOT-JUNK. I'm Brian Scudamore, and I get paid millions to be a full-time junk man. 1-800-GOT-JUNK is a full-service junk removal company. We'll show up at your front door and we'll haul away anything that you need to have removed. And hauling it away has Brian hauling it in. As 1-800-GOT-JUNK commands almost half the market for junk removal in the United States, Canada, and Australia. Last year alone, they collected $174 million in revenue. At a target profit margin of 20%, that's a take-home of nearly $35 million. When I first started 1-800-GOT-JUNK, I would never have imagined that we'd be where we are today. Growing up as a kid, academia was really important to my father, given that he's a liver transplant surgeon. It's very white collar. My dad had high hopes for his oldest son to go to college, but at four and a half years old, I drew a picture of myself hauling away junk. I guess I saw myself as a junk man. All right, got another job that we're gonna have to get to. School was for him, it wasn't for me. I always felt the pressure to follow in his footsteps, but I went to five high schools in five years. I got kicked out of schools. Anytime someone gave me a rule, I seemed to want to break it. I never graduated from high school, and ultimately I didn't want to miss out of college because all my friends were going. So I found a way to talk my way into college. In the province of Quebec, if you were a mature student over 18, you could apply without a high school diploma. I found a loophole and talked my way in. But Brian soon found that getting into college was way easier than affording it. Having not finished high school, I knew my parents weren't going to pay for my college education, and I had to make my own way. I was in a drive through of a fast food chain, and I saw this beat up old pickup truck. It said Mark's hauling on the side, and it was filled with junk, and I thought, that's my ticket. I started the business with $1,000, $700 towards a beat up old pickup truck of my own, and the rest on flyers and business cards. I was pounding the pavement. I was meeting with realtors. I was knocking on people's doors and asking if they had junk or who they might know that had junk. And my girlfriend at the time said, why don't you call up the press and tell your story to them? So I called up the Vancouver province and my first phone call, boom, landed a story on the front page of the newspaper with my truck, my phone number, and it led to 100 jobs in 24 hours. I knew I was onto something. And with plenty of money to pay for college, Brian wasted no time dropping out. I said, Dad, I'm dropping out of university to become a full-time junk man. And he just about fell out of his chair and couldn't understand what I was doing. My dad said, you've got one year left in your college education. And I said, school will always be there. I guarantee that that university isn't going away. My business opportunity might, and I'm going to seize it while it's hot and follow through with my business. Call it Carpe Dinero. We're talking a million bucks in annual revenue by his eighth year in business. An impressive amount that wasn't nearly impressive enough for Brian. One morning, I fired my entire company. I let them go. I realized I didn't have the right people in my business. When you don't have the right people, nothing works. I took a piece of paper and I wrote what the business would look like in the future. It said we'd be on the Oprah Winfrey Show. It said we'd have clean, shiny trucks and friendly uniformed drivers. We will be in the top 30 metros in North America franchising my business. And lo and behold, by the end of 2003, all those things came true. Did they ever? Today, Brian has grown 1-800-GOT-JUNK to 164 franchises. And that's just the beginning. Okay, welcome to Huddle for Monday. Hello, Toronto. We've got three companies that we're proud of. 1-800-GOT-JUNK, WOW One Day Painting. Smoky Green. Yeah. And then, of course, the newest brand, You Move Me, a moving company that specializes in local moves. With our moving business, we did 13 million in revenue in our first full calendar year, which is awesome. And this year, we're on track to do 24 million, which is double awesome. And when everything you touch turns to gold, it's time to buy one hell of a vault in one of the most elite neighborhoods in Vancouver. Our house is 3,500 square feet five bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's an awesome space for the family, and we love where we live and hope to live here for years and years to come. We bought a second home in Whistler, and it's one of my favorite places on the planet. It's an absolute winter wonderland. We ski together, and we skate outdoors, and we really unplug there as a family, and my kids absolutely love it. Hello. Hi, love. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how was your day? Awesome, Good. as usual. Most important thing to me is my family. 
What we love to do is spend money on memories, things that we can capture a photo that speaks a thousand words. One of my favorite experiences was my 40th birthday. I wanted to take my closest friends and family to Italy. We got together for an entire week. We rented this big villa and it slept 30 and it was just unreal to be able to cook together, drink wine together and have a blast. Sure, Brian didn't take the white collar path that had always been expected of him. But in the end, he became more successful than his dad ever could have imagined. Perfect spot for it. My company has grown to a level where we've hauled away over a billion dollars worth of junk. I remember my dad approaching me and say, hey, Brian, I'm, I'm really proud of what you've built. It took probably a decade to get there, but we've gotten to a place where we both got great admiration for the success that we both had in very unique ways.